So we're looking at the IH Industrial Hobbies mill today with the uh, belt drive. Um, I may start making those again this summer. Um, I made a bunch a few years ago and people like them for the R45 clones, but I really never did any videos. And most of the time now I'm doing uh, G704 kits and PM25s. And I'm also working on the PM940, which will be here shortly. But, and speak of the 940, I got a top plate here that I'm doing that is uh, two inches thick, but the top plate for the PM940 CNC kit is going to be an inch and a half. And I, right now I got the wrong stock, so I got to bring them down to one and a half inches. Now, normally I just use the face mill, but being I got to remove a lot of material, I normally don't mill things this way, but I got a 5 8 carbide cutter and I'm running at 5,000 RPM. And I can actually go more. I get 8,000 out of this machine. And uh, I'm going to do a 0.22 depth of cut. And right now it's at 60 inches per minute, which is faster than what I normally do. And it's going to do two passes. It'll leave me some more uh, to take off. So I'm actually going to do the finish pass back with the face mill like normal. But you know, we get to see how the mill can actually hog stuff off with the belt drives. I rarely run the things. Um, because I don't have water cooling at high speeds. But you know, we're going to do it today. And of course the chips are going to fly everywhere. So I'm not going to, I can't close the curtains all the way. So it's all set up. I'm going to run it twice. It, it does two passes. And maximum, or the total depth is uh, 0.44 that we're removing. And uh, so the first pass I'm going to do at 60 inches per second. And then I'm going to go ahead and overdrive at 100% and see if it'll do um, at 100 inches per minute, which is as fast as everything's set for. So it's a 5 8 two flute carbide cutter. There's nothing special about it other than carbide. And we will see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up to 100 right now. We'll see what it does.
Oh, that worked rather nice, actually. I was surprised at how well it did. So, now I, my axes are set at 90, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it 100 inches per minute. Uh, you know, I, now in order to get this out of the IH mill, um, I'm actually running a 900 ounce stepper on the Y, and then on the X, I have a direct drive servo. Uh, the servo will give me 300 inches. I don't even know what I'm getting to get out of the 900 because you normally don't ever cut this fast. But the surface finish is pretty good on this. I'm actually kind of surprised. Still not quite as nice as you get out of the uh, base mill, which is what I'll finish it off with. But uh, I made pretty quick work of that. And like usual, I got mega chip build up everywhere. Um, got the blower hose here. We use it to blow away the chips. Now I never run this fast, mainly because uh, with just air removal, um, I, almost every part I have has some kind of deep slot in it, and getting the chips out is more important than anything else because it'll just clog. In this case, I was able to cam it to work from the outside in, and I knew all the chips would be leaving, so I wouldn't have to worry about my uh, tool bit clogging up. So uh, yeah, it was pretty impressive uh, to take off. 0.44 inches took three minutes and 40 seconds, which isn't too bad, I guess. Still face faster to go with the base mill. So, but if I ever had parts that I've wanted to do, I could always optimize for a much higher roughing than what I normally do. Normally I run like 12 to 15 inches a minute for most of my operations. And that's just due to chip uh, removal limitations mainly. So yeah, that was kind of a, a fun little thing there to uh, rough off uh, 0.44 inches off a uh, five and a half by seven inch by two inch thick plate that we'll be using these for the, uh, I got a couple more to do of this stock and then I'm gonna go, I'll get the right size stock to use for the PM940 uh, top plates for the CNC kit. So that's it for today. The uh, industrial hobbies mill with the belt drive is doing a pretty good job. Thanks for watching guys.